Hey, this is Amy with Flower Moxie, and we're going to do a quick tutorial of how to do a floral runner. This is a bit of an installation, and um, today we're doing it again on a window seal, um, and this is the ceremony backdrop, but it could also be used on a mantle on a fireplace. A lot of venues have kind of the fireplace, and you want florals to go across the top of it. And so what I start out with is this is a 27-inch foam um, raquette and it's by Oasis and it has a um, plastic tray which is awesome because it contains the water and then the brick is foam and it's wrapped in plastic and so you won't want to take the plastic off because it holds in the moisture and then keeps it the water from dripping out so you'll just stab um, your stems and things through the plastic. It has little holes so it soaks up, soaks up the water. Um, to soak these because they're so big, they don't fit in the sink, I have to soak them in the tub. Um, and we have three of them. Okay, so the way that we're gonna go about this is greening it first. And just kind of a side note is I'm only building this two-sided and not the back. Um, but if, if I were to repurpose these and put them down on a table for like the head table afterwards, you can absolutely do that. You'll just need to finish out the back. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing the, you know, the top and then the side. Um, so it will fit up against the window. And how we're gonna start it is always start by greening. And um, I use about four bunches of lemon leaf and then I kind of backfill with two bunches of the seeded eucalyptus. Um, at that point I put in about 10 hydrangeas and 25 roses. And this is about a seven to eight foot span. So all in all, the cost of this to DIY this would be between 100 and $125. So it may be a little bit more if you're gonna fill in on the other side um, or just more heavily green it. But the secret is, is to always green first, so much so that you can't really see the mechanics or your foam cage um, and then you come back in with the larger pieces so then we would come back in with the hydrangeas and then we would go to the smaller size which would be the roses and let's say we were backfilling with thistle or stock or wax flower we would finish off with that so it's always kind of good to know the um, you know what order you go in so we will um, just get started It's taken us about 30 minutes to build this and we have about 28 to 30 roses, 10 hydrangeas, four bunches of lemon leaf and one bunch of the seeded eucalyptus is what we ended up using. And again, you can pull this in tighter and not make it so large or stand up so tall. It's all about how long or short you cut your stems. And again, if you finish off the back side of it, you can easily repurpose it for a head table or the cake table later. One other thing to note is hydrangeas don't love foam. So I will build this with the hydrangeas in it the day before and then pull them out, put them in some water and then put them back in before the ceremony. So they don't love to hang out in foam for long periods of time. Okay, thank you for joining us and thanks for watching our video.